Alright, welcome to another Throwback Thursday, where I'll play through a game that I've already reviewed. And this week, <clears throat> I'm going to be taking on Mega Man, one of my all-time favorites. Definitely one of my favorite all-time series. <clears throat> um, if not the favorite series. Pro pretty, definitely in the in this era, in the 8-bit era. <clears throat> it was only a matter of time before I get to the Mega Man games in the, uh, you know, in the throwbacks. So, <clears throat> six robots to start with. In the, uh, in the original Mega Man, it would, it would become eight from there on out, starting with two. And, you know, Mega Man 1 is not perfect. It's not a perfect game. I know I gave it an A rating back in the uh, day. But, I mean, I... I, mean, I, I probably would have changed that now. Like, in retrospect, it's probably more of, like, a B plus or a B... Probably a B plus. <clears throat> a lot of that is, uh... A lot of that is the, you know... The fact that I... I didn't have a lot of... It was early on in my run as, uh... You know, doing doing reviews. So I didn't have a huge... I don't know why I'm trying to save that other health... Uh, pellet. It's not like they they actually respawn, and I'm not gonna be coming back here. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I mean, a couple funny things about it was I, for the longest time, I had I had questioned whether or not, or not I even wanted to do Mega Man, only because I'm such a you know Mega Man junkie that. Uh, you know, it's like, I, I feel like I would have not have been objective enough. Like, I would have given it to... I would have I kissed its ass a little too much. And, you know, I guess in, in a way, I I kind of... You know, I might have ranked it a little too high, but... You know, I didn't have a lot of reviews stacked up to... to uh, you know, have a, a comparison. So, whatever. It doesn't matter. I, it, it's... That was like 15 years ago, for, uh, not that, not quite that long, almost 14 years ago, damn. Now that I think about it, this was my first year of, uh, of doing reviews, and I'm, this indecisiveness is going to, uh, cause me to die here, isn't it? A lot of things about <clears throat> Mega Man 1, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely one of the more difficult ones on the NES. A lot of the reason goes, uh, I mean, you know, you've got the Yellow Devil boss, you've got a lack of help, you know, you don't have Rush, you don't have any of the items, you don't have E-Tanks. There's a lot of cheap factors, like the spikes, for example, even the spikes... Something as random as the spikes. I mean, it's not like there's a plethora of cheap deaths on spikes. But you get no recovery time if you fall in after getting hit. A lot of shit like that, you know? It's uh, it's probably why uh, Capcom USA decided to, you know... I mean, I don't know who's ram who whose decision it was, but when Mega Man 2 came aboard, they had the, uh, you know... The difficult version on the, uh, you know, on the, on the North American uh, cart was, you know, just the, the regular Japanese version. That was what was supposed to be normal. <clears throat> you know, and I think it stems from the difficulty of Mega Man 1. Interesting thing too is points. You know, it's the it, it's not a a uh, a factor in Mega Man games anymore. You know, I can't. I don't even know. I mean, I, I'm not the I, when I say I'm you know a huge Mega Man fan. I'm not <clears throat> really well versed in a lot of the other series. Like I'm uh, a lot of the more obscure ones are the. Less though. I'm, I'm, you know, I've played the classic series a lot. Of course, the X series, 
um, you know, the Game Boy games and uh, Legends. But everything, man, mostly everything else is fairly, you know, few and far between. I'm forgetting some. Something's just not popping into my head. So, I mean... <clears throat> I don't know where the hell I was going with that. I was... I was gonna mention something about... You know... Uh, you know, Mega Man... Not Mega Man history, but... It was gonna it was gonna correlate some capacity with something other than the Mega Man the regular Mega Man series. I don't know what the hell it was though. It's like when you walk into a room in your house and you're like, what what the fuck am I doing in here? That's kinda where I'm at right now. I don't know what I'm doing in this room. I hate that fucking big guy. He guards a lot of these gates, too. Thankfully, there's only one. Ugh. Ugh. I'm, I'm like over here hitting the shoulder buttons, like as if... <clears throat> as if I can switch weapons. Like that. Jumping too early. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. I'm not doing a no hit run, that's for sure. <clears throat> not doing a speed run, that is also for sure. I'm just trying to. I'm just playing through the game. That's it. I am not a superhuman. I was calling him Clutman. Cutman is another guy that you can go first. <clears throat> I mean, you can go to whoever the hell you want. If you think you can beat the damn guy, like Iceman's fairly is capable of being beaten. You know, no problem with the uh, with the regular uh, plasma cannon. But you also have to uh, you you know you can't you won't have the the, uh, the magnet beam yet. So you can't, you know, skip over the that section with the floating platforms. And you also, I mean, you you can also skip out on the, the disappearing blocks if you really want to in that area too. I almost call these guys fleas just now. The fleas are the, uh... <clears throat> the little buggers, I think. They show up... Right here. Yeah, these are the, these are the little bastards that are called, that are fleas. Robotic fleas. I like to be a fly on the wall. Uh, whenever Dr. Wily create some of these robots, like these, like the Fleas, for example, like, what was his line of thinking, and when he was <coughs> putting it together, or, or, or is it just like, these are all, I don't know, I guess components of bigger robots that he had plans to use, and he's just like, I'm not letting anything hit the cutting room, uh, room floor, because, you know, I just imagine there were rejected robots, but he just said, ah, screw it, these can be like little mini henchmen in, uh, that the minions of the Robot Masters. Because I don't think that these are... <clears throat> you know, I think that it's just the Robot Masters that are uh, Dr. Light's creations in this game. And uh, everything else here is... made by Wily, so... <clears throat> Imagine Wily the nutcase that he is was just taking what was 
laying around and said, okay, I can, you know, whatever function came out of it. I'm not going to bother fighting these guys. Um, you know, he just went with it and said, okay, this is a minor robot that may, might slow Mega Man down a little bit on his way to fighting Cut Man, for example. Hesitates. Ah, screw it, I got hit. We'll just keep going. Maybe he'll give me some help. Wishful thinking. Stupid point ball. One up here. Try nothing. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to slide. I'm playing. I'm playing too much freaking Maker. I get my Maker. I'm like freaking trying to hit the slide button or like the slide sequence. I haven't slid all day, obviously. I'm playing Mega Man 1 here. But apparently that slipped my mind a little bit. You know, people have uh, joked that Lechman is doing uh, the Hiller salute there. But. I mean, come on, he's doing the Hulk Hogan pose. His is side to side, he's not doing it straight forward. Come on, people. Last thing we need is cancel culture to... ...cancel out Elect Man. Mega Man really worked on climbing ladders, uh, his, his ladder climbing skills in the, uh, by the third Mega Man. You get tired of shit like this. Easiest disappearing blocks in the history of Mega Man, right there. Slowly take steps. This is one of a few spots where they recycled uh, the layout. <clears throat> I definitely distinctly remember going up the uh, going up this way the first time that I played this, or the first time I got through it, and. Uh, no, it wasn't this way. It, this side, it was the one up, uh, the, the next one up, where I didn't, ha I did not have Gutsman's weapon. Well, yeah. So first off, I couldn't get the magnet beam, which I wasn't sure what it was. I, I was, uh, I was, you know, very curious. I was like, what the hell was it that I, I just bypassed? You know, it's, it's very curious. It built up a lot of anticipation for eventually acquiring it. But then I also went up this way, and then... Got to a dead end. Like, I was like, shit. Cannot do anything from here. It wasn't a huge deal. I mean, it's not like, uh... Can this guy go down here? No. Alright. Oh, shit. He, you little bluffing bitch. You know, it's... I, 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 I was... I, I knew... That the little bastard could do it. 
And I'm like, wait a minute, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just, uh... Maybe I'm just remembering things incorrectly here. But no, he was faking it the whole time. Why would anybody go in there? That... <laughs> I mean, the they should put an extra life in there for something if they really wanted to cock tease you. I mean, I can see, you know, the health, uh, the health ball, but they, nobody in the world has ever gone into that little nook unless they, uh, you know, j just unless they wanted to just say that they did it for whatever reason. Oh, shit! Oh, I just lost. Oh, he's gonna come back. Mother of shit. Ah, uh, and all right, no, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up because I'm gonna try to get a, uh, get him to jump over me. Ah, uh, that was one jump. There it is. All right, all right. <clears throat> I thought that he was just gonna do short hops after that. Yeah, there's not enough time to kill him there. I'm glad they did away with this shit. Like having hazards in the, in the in-between gate. I mean, it's kind of cool, it's like, uh, uh, you know, like, one last test right before it, but I like the, the safe haven of the in-between, not having to worry about, uh, having to go through this shit again when you are, uh, ah. <clears throat> that was my f first death of, of the day. Like, uh, you know, if I stumble here, you know, it's like I'm gonna lose health. Ah, like I just did just now, son of a bitch. Oh, well, it's not like I get crushed by a rock mo uh, by the big guy. But I still have ample opportunity here to fuck up. Right on cue, you know, I gotta, I gotta stop jinxing myself. I, but I, I can't not jinx myself. It's just part of the fabric of my fiber. Screw you, Nazi. Yeah, I know, I was giving him, uh... Well, I was vouching for him before, but... It's more satisfying to say that after you kill something. It, it, it really, it just ju it helps to justify murdering. Like, don't worry about it, he was a Nazi. To the Iceman stage. I, d I, I do like the um, the ice palm trees. There aren't enough of them in the stage. It's just like uh, I don't know. It's kind of like reminds me of. I mean, it doesn't remind me of, but it, it's, uh, similar to the whole, uh... If anybody's been to Disney and been to the Blizzard Beach, uh, water park. Like, I like that winter, uh, theme in a, in a water park where it's, you know, obviously not winter. You're never gonna be there in the winter time. Or you're at least not in ice condition. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Orlando in the winter is still, you know, water park a bull. I've only been there in April, which is... I mean, I'd rather have gone in the, uh... Like, October, I think, would be the... Most ideal. It's not like the crazy Christmas time where... It's insanely busy. And it's just at the right temperature. Cause it gets fucking hot down there. Um... Even in April. And it's not really so much heat with me, it's humidity. That... Yeah, I could do without that shit. And it gets... shit. It gets humid up here, <clears throat> where I live too. In the summer. 
so it's not like it's like I'm in the perfect climate or anything like that. Far from it. But I like the contrast of New England weather. Alright, time to magnet beam it up. I'm gonna bother with that weapon refill. I have plenty. I do miss that freaking, uh, <clears throat> that extra life every now and again. It was, yeah, I was gonna just check that I need it for anything else? No. <clears throat> Not that I'm going to need the magnet beam, but... Actually, I could use it right here, can't I? Fuck you, buddy! Heesh. Not... Pause it for some reason. I'm mostly just kind of doing this to, uh, practice the pattern, uh, for the rematches later on. Ah, too high of a jump there. No, oh, no! You know, I thought I had more than one hit left to take. It was, uh... You know, I, that, that Ice Slasher takes a lot more out of you than I thought it did. Alright. I've had enough of your bullshit. I'm gonna try... When I get to it, I'm gonna try to get by the Yellow Devil with the uh, without doing the pause trick a few times, but you know, don't want to be here all night. So, uh, you know, after if I fail, after Let's see how I feel about it. But I'm gonna say three shots. I'm gonna give it three go arounds before I throw in the towel. At least these assholes don't fire downward, that would just be pissing me off right now. I thought I timed that well. <laughs> Christ, that yeah, that, that was all worth it, wasn't it? Wasted everybody's time, including yours. I don't know why I like to just shoot these things. Arg! I noticed, like, halfway into that, that I was doing a pirate sounding growl, and I just went with it. It's not like I, you know, it's not on account of me watching uh, Pirates of the Caribbean or anything like that. Those guys slip uh, past me incognito. Is 
it physically possible to get by that without getting hit? Is there some kind of... Like, there's no perfect timing, right? Oh shit, on a stick. Alright, I just didn't want to get hit twice by that prick. Ah, there's another one! Eh. What am I doing on lives? Alright, back to basically the normal three. How many of these guys you want to lay out before a fight fire, man? Come on. He's being very, you know, sneaky here, but he does not have a very sneaky fighting style. He is just like, let's just go. Fire, 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 fire. Balls to the wall, fire. Nothing fancy, just fucking throwing flame at you. And I thought for, you know, I was going to take a, a hit after... <laughs> Killing him and do another, like, you know, murder-suicide. Not murder-suicide, but a double murder. And on to Wily. And here comes the original... Red Chip, before... <clears throat> the iconic blue one... became the norm. Ugh, you asshole. I know there's a couple more of them. Ah. Uh. There's one way up here. Oh, I can't fit there. Yeah. Alright, well... Went through most of them anyway. Duh. Ah! For some reason I thought I could go straight through with that. Uh, let's see. Alright, that was, uh... Better than I was expecting it to go. Ah, <sighs> oh, you nimbusels! <sighs> Fucking fleas, man. I'm just as annoying as the real thing. At least today it is a day are anyway. You know what? You assholes can have that one. Because I got this one. It filled me up completely. Fuck you. What the hell? Did I just throw one that stayed right where it was? getting stuck here too this is the one thing another thing, a very cheap part about this game is that you know the magnet beam should not be necessary to complete the game that's a and I, and I I, 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 I I did kind of fuck up early when I said you know there isn't any additional bonus items you know the magnet beam is one of them it, it's the only one besides your weapons obviously but you know it does this is falls into the uh, you know the that category of, you know, the rush and the item numbered, uh, the numbered items. I do, cor I, I will correct myself there on that one because that's, uh... Oh, 
god, here we go. Alright, I have three lives. Ah, there was no health refills. I mean, no weapon refills was there. Prior to this exchange. <clears throat> Alright, so... I'll give this a shot straight up. Oh, uh, that's the one where you gotta jump, like... You gotta jump, a, you gotta take a big leap uh, on that last one. That third one. Ah, uh, you can only do it once. Oh no! Oh my god, I did it! I was not expecting it on the first try. I usually, you know, take forever with that. I should have played the lottery today or something. Well, <clears throat> now that I've exercised that demon, uh, <clears throat> I've I I've got plenty of chances to fuck up. Oh fuck! I'm like getting all happy feet here. All right, what do I need to fill up here on here? Oh god, which one is it? All right, so it's it's this one is the early one. The 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 next illusion floor is a little bit closer to uh, to the weapons. It's not yet. I was thinking that the uh, those bombs were coming here. That's a little bit later. All right, so this one is the the floor is right in front. I don't need to fill up on. Uh, we'll need guts in a little while. No, the next stage. Not right now, though. Obviously. Now, I think this is the, the checkpoint. I hate these bombs in this part. It's a lot easier in bomb when you just walk right up against the wall. Alright, at least I avoided most of it. I just, like, double tap that shit for some reason. Nothing but these stupid point balls. I don't even remember what they're called. I don't know what the, you know, proper name for them is. And I anticipated him jump sliding over and I was gonna uh alright not yet I don't need I'm not gonna grab that yet oh. Ugh, this is just I'm, I'm wasting my weapons here cause this is this is obviously not gonna be I'm not gonna win this fight Dead on the first try. That's 
inventory. I think, I think the elect beam is the way to go with this. Again, I I wasn't sure if I had the you know the, the the timing down on that, and if I even had the right weapon. You know, it's like I this isn't you know this is one of those battles where I I, I really always thought that it was there wasn't a clear decisive uh, a, a definitive weapon that worked more than anything else on it. I bum rushed that one a little too much. Jeez, that was like an Indiana Jones thing. I narrowly dodged everything. Kind of an underwhelming part of the stage right here. You just kind of stand here. Ah, oh, damn it! I tried to get a refill right there. I could not pause the game in time. Still got my health back. Again, I, the, the, I, the, the, there was a delay. I can't, I can't, there it is. It's, I already got it, damn it. Health returned again, not fully, but almost. I'm really glad I got all these balls. Alright. Whoopity do, oh shit. What the hell? Alright, that was some weird bounce back action going on, and I just uh, narrowly dodged getting hit. He definitely made contact with me just there. <clears throat> uh. Uh, how many more? Ah, oh, shit. Did I time it right? I did, unbelievable. I thought I was fucked. I thought I had gone for the stones too soon. One more. Now, it's imperative I get weapon energy because, uh, and like everything just disappeared. I, I, yeah, I, great, I got the green balls. <clears throat> They're green in this level. Yeah, because the Robot Master rematch is later on. It's a gauntlet, there's four of them. And all in a row and you get no freaking health. Well, there is some weapon energy up here. Ah, oh, son of a fuck! Like, I really need this! Ugh, oh, that's discouraging. I guess this is what I get for, you know, all the, the, the rather good luck that I've had today. Uh, 
Oh, can't reach him. Can't reach him. <sighs> don't want to use... Don't want to use my... Ugh. Oh, there's... Some precious weapon refill right there. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna... What's my life stat? Alright, so I got three lives. Well, you know what? There's the bloody... <coughs> Excuse me. There's the bloody, uh... I forgot the name of the damn thing. There's that, that, that complete refill. It almost makes this pointless. Like, I should just plow through it. Come on. Ring for service. Uh, Alright, uh... There it is. Alright, so now... Completely filled up. And onward and upward we go. God, I'm dancing. What the hell was that? Uh, you know, it's like my health is not so good right now. And I'm dead. We both died. Again, with the... That's the second time I've done a double murder on freaking Elect Man. What the hell? Take damage. Get this. Some damage. Alright, well, I have a little bit more than I did to start, uh, than what I did the last time I, uh, left the fight with him. Me out of here. All right. Ugh, damn it, guts, man. Jumped a little too early. Jump. Like make like Van Halen and jump. Shit. Oh man. Die. Yes. Don't throw that at me. I thought that was gonna be like a ghost throw of that last block. And after all this shit, they reward me with oh, a weapon refill. Grr. I do have. No, I. I. Pretty sure that I don't end up. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die on this first fight. So I, I'm pretty sure that I don't have to fight um, the robot masters again after that. So I'm just gonna use my regular uh, arm cannon. Almost got through the first form with the regular cannon. All right, that's what I thought. I, 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 I I'm pretty sure that it, he would be next to. Nearly impossible otherwise. I don't remember if it's the flame or the cut, the rolling cutter that's better on the first form. Yeah, that's the flame. 
All right, I go into the final fight. Ugh. I was taking a hit from the first. Shit. Gotcha, bitch! Like Dave Chappelle said to Oprah. Wiley's first beg, beg job, I guess you could say. I remember when I was, and you know, I, I was introduced to the Mega Man series through Mega Man Two. And I I'd actually had played three before I ever got my hands on one. So it went, you know, two, then three, then one for me. And I remember when I first finally beat this game and, you know, heard the intro music to Mega Man 2, it, it kind of blew my mind. It was really cool to, you know, I made this ending, excuse me, so much better. Because I got to hear this other rendition. And it's really, you know, the original. <clears throat> that particular, this particular version is the original. And then, you know, having it follow, because, you know, it normally... The Mega Man 2 intro flows into the iconic Mega Man theme. I mean, the you know the intro is pretty iconic too, but the theme once the title screen pops up, that's the that's the Mega Man theme, uh, the, essentially. But hearing the intro flow into this ending theme was also pretty cool. It it, it made this ending a little you know. It added, a little, it added a little something to it for me. And then I also didn't expect Roll to pop up here. I was like, oh shit, Roll made an appearance uh, this early in the Mega Man saga. So, that's awesome. I, I'm glad, um, you know, I was happy to play this game again. I'm, I'm, I'm always, you know, up for Mega Man pretty much. But it was nice to be able to play it and share it with everybody again in a different way. And, uh... Yeah, well, uh, see you next time.